In this example, we're going to be talking about the iPhone charger and the different ways that you can model it within SysML and Cameo. So what we got right here is the charging context. We have the iPhone itself, the charger cable, the charger box, and the wall outlet. So all those things together uh, would have interconnections. You would have your iPhone connected to the charger cable, the charger cable connected to the charger box, the charger box connected to the wall outlet. So this is the plug level of abstraction. And what we can do is we can actually look inside by double clicking using a hyperlink. And so now we are looking at the pinout level. So this right here is the plug, but then each of these is going to be the pin, which is going to associate to the pins on the lightning cable. So then you can go back and click on the other um, plug level connections and you'll be able to see all the pinouts for your uh, USB-C. And then the same with this one. So we have two levels of abstraction here that we have to work on or need to understand. We have the plug level and the pinout level and it, it ends up looking pretty straightforward and it's easy to navigate. We do have um, proxy ports that are nested within proxy ports. Um, so now that we've understand kind of the context. Um, we'll, we'll also look at the charging context ICD. So this is all given to you just by using a white box ICD table. So we have the part property over here for part A and then where it goes to. So the box goes to the wall outlet and then these are the items that flow across that. These are the features. These are the port B features. So you can see that it creates a pretty nice ICD. Looking into more detail in the containment tree, I've got uh, the charging context where we have each of these views. So this is the high level view, which is going to be this one. And then we've got the detail views right here. So we have wall detail, that would be this one. And, and so we have a detail view for each of these zoom in views. And you can see the proxy ports for all of those. Make those smaller. And then we've got our connector level interface blocks. So this is what I said, plug level. So we got the lightning connector, the standard wall plug, and the USB-C. So each of those are going to have a proxy port. And then we've got the pinout level. And these interface blocks have flow properties and they are typed by signals and these signals are down here. So there's no flow properties on the plug level. There's just more proxy ports, but on the pin level, each of those pins has a flow property associated with it. So this is not the only way to model um, the pinouts but it is a clean, understandable way to do it. So hope this helps.